闇を喰らい尽くす祖国の寄り定めの枝は光求め進む道を歩く Dim, shadowy reaches of the past, there was a creature known. Possessing powers beyond the comprehension of mankind, its only desire was the total annihilation of all humanity. Fighting a hopeless battle for survival, mankind was pushed to the brink of extinction. Just as all hope was about to be lost, six heroes appeared. They taught the last vestiges of humanity how to harness and control the mystic force of the universe known as magic. And humans fused it with science, creating what was to become known as Ars Magus. The humans who had the ability to use Ars Magus stood beside the six heroes and against the Black Beast. After a series of brutal battles, mankind finally stood victorious. Amongst the survivors, the war came to be known as the First War of Ars Magus, and the six brave warriors went down in history as the Six Heroes. After the defeat of the Black Beast, the people rejoiced, but peace did not last for long. From the remains of the Black Beast, a dark mist began to spread outward. In seemingly no time at all, the Black Mist covered virtually the entire planet. The mist, which became known as Caesar, wreaked havoc on mankind, as prolonged exposure had detrimental effects on the human body. In order to limit their exposure to this deadly poison, 
humans were forced to construct cities atop towering mountains. These cities became known as hierarchical cities. At the same time, the organization known as the Novus Orbis Librarium was formed for the purpose of managing and controlling the objects known as grimoires, which are required to use Ars Magus. Inevitably, the NOL began to leverage the power accorded to them by their control of these grimoires, and most of the world fell under their jurisdiction. With almost half the world's population decimated by the war against the Black Beast, the remaining survivors began to quickly rebuild their civilization under the watchful eyes of the Novus Orbis Librarian. Decades passed since the founding of the Novus Orbis Librarian. Within that time, Ars Magus had become an indispensable part of people's lives. However, the use of Ars Magus came with a price, the effects of which depended solely upon the person wielding it. The NOL, having gathered all those who showed a high aptitude for using Ars Magus, were soon accused by the general populace of propagating before long a region under the NOL's control rose in rebellion calling themselves the Ikaraga Federation they declared their independence from the NOL this declaration of autonomy did not sit well with the Novus Orbis Librarium and the second war of Ars Magus began for the first time in recorded history Humans used Ars Magus against each other as a weapon in battle. Overwhelmed, the Ikaraga Federation quickly fell. The victory served to reinforce the NOL's dominance and power over the world. The absolute destruction of the Ikaraga Federation served as a stark reminder to anyone who even contemplated defying the will of the Novus Orbis Librarian. A few years later, someone dared to defy the Novus Orbis Librarian and rose up to take on the organization whose political and military dominance were seemingly absolute. Even with an army set to rival any nation, the NOL was powerless to stop this one man from destroying the culture that might be with an NOL strong. The man in question was called Ragnar the Blood. It was not long before the NOL declared Ragna the Blood as an excess class criminal. He was the largest bounty in recorded history put on his head, and one of the with his face plastered on every available surface. Ragna had become the target of a wide variety of different organizations. The most significant of these were the Librarian's Guard, Bounty Hunter, known as Vigilante, and Sector 7. He was known for its advanced scientific research and breakthroughs. In addition to these organizations were other individuals who either coveted Ragnar's power or sat silently in the shadows, watching. The world was slowly being transformed by the actions of one rebel. Twenty-one ninety, Ragna arrived at the NOL headquarters of Kagutsuchi. The 13th, however, several of Ragna's enemies were already there, waiting for him. NOL 4th Thaumaturgus Squadron Commander Major Jin Kisaragi. One of the six heroes, Hakumen. The silver-haired girl, New 13. 
Just as Ragnar thought he had finished what he'd set out to do, he was dragged into the cauldron along with New 13. As he was plummeting to his doom, Ragnar heard a girl's voice calling to him. With the last of his strength, he reached out his hand. Thanks to her actions, Ragnar's life was spared. The girl's name was Noelle Vermillion. It was the dawn of a new era of mankind. Out in the streets, people were joyously celebrating the start of a new year. However, Ragna ignored the celebrations, intent on more important matters. The destruction of his new arch nemesis. I'm pleased you could make it to this meeting, Rachel Alucard. I suppose long time no see would be the appropriate response. In your subjective time, it has been not correct. For us, it has the difference between our subjective time. How much of a discrepancy is there? There is an observed one in the oh, interesting. Rachel Alucard, I think it is safe to say so. Nothing has changed. Correct. We have. Have you summoned me here? To why did you lift restrict? We, we wish, wish to, to know, know what, what you are, are trying to Whatever my intentions for the two being correct, your actions in regard. Indeed, your actions do not seem to be entirely. We cannot understand what makes Ra correct. It is impossible that Ravna. I do not think his value is. We do not wish to meddle in your affairs that much. Affirmative. We will select. Negative. Takama Gahara is a system built by humans. Furthermore, once a god has been observed, it can no longer continue to exist as a god. Affirmative. The master unit is no... And of course, the successor to the Azure. Which is why, Rachel, we would like to ask if you wish to become an observer of the bound... Oh. I very much enjoy keeping dogs as pets. My desires are not so... Rachel Alucard, the outer perimeter is much closer to talking... Before you abandon the duties you have already... Oh? I'm afraid... Your response has been recorded and... How unfortunate. I had hoped things were going to be getting a little more enjoyable here again. Still, we had predicted... Already begun observation. Then you were responsible for terror. Affirmative. We expect significant. He is really something of a maverick. Even we cannot govern him at times. As such, we have prepared an exit strategy. De Negative. We are unable to provide an answer to that query. Do then you truly intend to reduce the world to nothing? Oh, don't be foolish. That the world Takamagahara creates simply needs to be correct. Affirmative. Distortions caused by the Master Unit are currently being considered a lot. The phenomena intervention of the Master Unit cannot be measured. As such. Affirmative. Takamagahara will in Once again, the world will be. Affirmative. The Azure. So long as the Azure exists. All forms of life return to the world of the Azure. How long do you plan on hanging around? What did you say your name was? Uh, Noel? Oh, oh, yes! What's with the apology? You didn't do. I... You don't have anything else to do here, right? You being here is real. 
Now what? No, it's nothing. I just thought we could talk for a while. Why would I waste my breath? Why do you have to talk that way? Of the Blood Edge, I will go this time. But when we meet each other again, it will be as enemies. Jeez, don't ever come back. Damn it. Why does everyone want to butt into my business? It's really starting to get on my goddamn nerves. What I do is none of their concern. I swear to God, it has to be because of this right hand of mine. But what the hell do I know? My right hand, the Azure Grimoire. It's gotta be. The true, the true successor to the Azure. Azure. Not that Not pathetic, that pathetic imitation, imitation you have. Imitation, huh? I regret, I regret to say that the phenomenon has shifted. shifted. As, you As you are now, you will not win. win. I doubt I you doubt should even survive. survive. Yes, 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 yes! She's hit the nail on the head! Pretty sure the only cat cool enough to hang with me is that self-righteous little blood sucks. Little squirt like you couldn't handle the pressure. Hell, I bet you're pissing yourself right now. Oh, what's the matter? That last one hit a little too close to home? <laughs> Exactly like it was the last time. Absolutely nothing has changed. Hey, stalker guy. How long do you plan on staring at me? So you were able to sense my presence? I'm impressed, Ragna the Blood Edge. You're the kid vigilante. What do you want, brat? I don't have time to play with kids. You may not. However, Mr. Ragnar the Blood Edge, I do. Last warning, kid. I'm really not going to do this. If you don't want to beat it, I suggest you leave. Do you really think that mere words would deter me? No, but it was worth a shot. The wheel of fate is turning. Revo, one, action. Move it! Ah! Ah! It's just starting. Move it! Huh? Huh? Inferno Divider! Inferno Divider! I can't say I didn't warn you. It's too late for regrets, you little punk. <coughs> You're very strong. I told you what I was gonna do to you. Now scram, kid. You bother me. Sis. Brother. Uh, Jin?
finally awake there, son? Who are you? Damn, what the hell? My head feels stuffed with lead. Where's... where's the sister? Where are Jin and Saya? I don't rightly know where those two went. The sister, uh, she... Where is that bastard? Whoa, whoa, don't move, kid. You've been sleeping here for ten days. I don't reckon you're ready to be doing much of anything. Ten days? You mean to tell me it's been ten days? Didn't I tell you not to move? <sighs> my body is mangled, but my mind is as clear as glass. Well, I reckon it's likely the Azure Grimoire working its magic on you. Azure... Come on, kid. The Azure Grimoire. Don't you remember? You went and stuck it into that body of yours. Uh, you sure ought to remember. Take a look at your arm. See? I put in... Yes, you... Arm. Oh, that's right. That guy. My arm. Oh, God, my arm. Hold on a second. I'm warning you, this ain't no dream. Your arm got cut off. The arm you got now, that's the... You mean this? Yes, I do. I guess it really is an arm. Ah. By the way, who are you? Well, where are my manners? Name's Jubei. And how about you try showing a little respect, son? Hardly the way to treat a fella who just saved your life. Jubei? Are you Jubei the Six Heroes, Jubei? Well, yeah, folks do tend to get stuck on that. And you're a cat? Wow, your ears and tail, they're both real. Whoa, it's really soft. Put your head down, Ragna. Huh? Why? Just do what I tell you to do, kid. Why? Kids these days. No respect. Still, does seem you don't remember none of what happened. There's no helping that, I'm afraid. After all, what more could one expect of an inferior manservant? God damn it, Rachel. You scared me half to death. You can't be doing that to an old man. Pretty soon you'll scare me all the way. If you say so, oh one-eyed lotus. Quit calling me that. I'm sure your power is a burden to you from time to time. Nonetheless, without that power, you could have not saved this petulant child. Seems I can't run away from my past forever. You sure you want me to do this? Perhaps you know someone better qualified? Yeah, yeah, you're right. I reckon it's time I paid for my sins anyway. Now, nah, hell, maybe this is fate. At any rate, ma'am, you got me. I'll look after Ragna. I gotta say it, son. Stay focused. Don't let yourself get distracted. I'm not distracted. Damn it all. Ah! Hitting something real hard ain't the same as focusing on it, kid. Now pay attention. Using R's Magus is all about being aware of it. Just tell yourself it's natural and let it... I wish I knew what the hell you were talking about. I've never been able to use R's Magus before. Well, you can now. Gotta stop giving yourself excuses. Look, don't think too hard on it. You can stop being such an unreasonable... The power of the Azure Grimoire ain't your power. Not yet. You gotta control it. It ain't your friend, but it's a part of your body. You just gotta learn to use it. I know, goddamn you! Uh, you just ain't got the talent for this, son. You must have been joking when you said you want to fight the folks what did this to you. Damn it! Fine, one more time. My, oh my, Ragnar. Aren't you an... Oh, it's you, again. Leave me alone. Oh, you can recognize my voice now. I'm touched. Truly, I am. You're the only person I know that had ever bothered to show up around here. Evil little bunny girl. Now, what on earth could you possibly mean by such a thing? I am simply here to enjoy my picnic. If you think my choosing to dine here is somehow related to you, well, I fear the truth may harm your delicate ego. Stop with your...
your infernal squeaking. It's breaking my concentration. Oh, my. You've quite a nerve to say such things to me. Now, what is that supposed to mean? You would have me explain myself. How delightfully common of you. I am simply asking if you can afford to converse with me while training. Perhaps you should look behind you. What? Behind me? Hey, Ragnar! Let's see you dodge this, you smart mouth little whippersnapper! Huh? What the hell? A log? Hey, that's not even remotely funny! If that thing hit me, I would have died! Harry! Ow! My goodness. I had no idea a living creature could sustain such damage. I'll get you back for this! What's up? Well, let me guess. You want some food? That's not a bad idea! Meow! So, it's not about food? Then what is it? Oh, yeah! I almost forgot! Meow! I mean, you seem to be a lot better these days. So I wanted you to play with me. You know, to get back into shape. Play? Well, I guess I can do that much at least. So, what do you want to do? Meow. You've got to be kidding me. Ah, what the hell. If I just keep sleeping all day, I'll just get fat and weak. All right, then. Bring it on. Okay! The wheel of fate is turning. Rebo, one, action. Counter! Sting! Rebo, Disgusting when I first saw it, but it's actually really good.
Whoa! Hold on, kitty cats. We'll play later, okay? Man, I always get this weird feeling. What's wrong, good guy? Nothing. Absolutely. What's that? The 13th hierarchical city of Kagutsuchi. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. So that's... Huh? Who's there? Long time no see, cat person. I brought what you asked for. Well, if it ain't Torakaka. Long time no see to you too, partner. How's the bi- They're all well, maybe too well. Well, I'd like to say that, but we're going through a lot right about now. It's the Ikaruga Civil War, Meow. Some of the Kaka clan soldiers have gone off to the Federation. Ikaruga? Hell, that mess should have ended after Ibukido was destroyed. Damn library. Ain't they had their fill of suffering and tragedy yet? Apparently not. I guess there were a few minor problems that came up. I was actually planning to head out that way sometime soon. So you're going too, are you? Guess you're getting... I appreciate your concern. I figured as much. Oddly enough... Meow! Meow! Hey, who the hell are you calling a block? Ah! He's going to capture me and eat me! The hell I'm gonna! That kid, huh? What's her name? Her name is Tao Kaka. Tao Kaka, huh? Cat person, who's that man playing with Tao? He's my apprentice. Name's Ra Protector of A- Still don't know which one he's gonna- Ah, oh, I see. Oh, I remember now. Tao. Tao? It's nothing, sorry. Good guy? Yeah. I can't. Okay. <laughs> so, what to do now? Whoa, what in the... I'm so... Oh, man, I'm starting to hear things now. I... <laughs> <laughs> ignored me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've been ignored. Don't even think of haunting me. Seriously, you're creeping me out. Everyone, your attention, please. Oh, for the love of God, what exactly did I do to deserve this? Being called evil by a total stranger. Who would have thought? Oh, okay, okay, I'll feed you. Since when did the universe decree that I should be the target of every unwashed, ill-mannered Um, do you think you could stop inhaling food long enough to tell me your name? Oh, please excuse me. Where are my manners? My name is Senna. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Rock. I knew it. Uh, and the other person? Uh, As I said, the other... I... What the hell is that supposed to mean? So, two souls in one hand, unless I'm... To wow! I'm Luna. Please introduce... <clears throat> Luna! Dumbass! Come again? Dumbass moron loser pervert! What the hell did you just call me? Why does Luna have to eat while he's here? How can you stand it, Senna? I mean... Yes, Luna, I feel this... You ungrateful little bastard! <laughs> Talking about me like that after I paid for your food? And speaking of food, you sure are eating a whole hell of a lot of it! Oh, you mouth-breathing pedophile! Where do you get off calling me a pedophile? Luna, I'm afraid he's right. You can't go around calling people that, even though in this case it appears to be the truth. That's right. Hey, wait a minute. I've had enough of your abuse. Do you two want to die right now? You beat Luna? Okay, you two. It seems you... Oh, this... Awesome! Bring it on! <laughs> wow! I have no intention of taking any more of this bullshit. Seriously, guys, I'm gonna give you five seconds to get the hell away from me if you're still here when I finish. That seems decidedly... 
Senna, don't you dare stand in Luna's way. Luna is going to pound this idiot into chuck. Stop it, freak! Never... Seven hells was that all? What was the master thinking sending a brat? Uh, excuse me, sir. We... But what was that? Oh, yeah, of course. Sir, you... Sorry, you... You're the man who got... What the hell are you talking about? I heard that you were off. No, it's Grim Reap. And I heard that you lost. You got it all wrong. I'm into your... Rod! It's a... Just wait a goddamn minute. My reputation is bad enough without you making it even worse. What the hell? Uh, back out? You might want to back away now. Huh? Hurry up already. What? <laughs> Murakumo unit? Wagner the Blood Edge. Wonder. An intervention for us. In the future, could you not just jump into my... What the hell are you still doing in Kazutsuki? Do you care about my whereabouts? Why? Just what the hell do you want? What? Oh, you think I sent her there to get you? <laughs> That's a laugh. That grimoire of yours is useless. Well, to me it is. What are you going on about? Hmm. Let's see. Can't say I'm too interested in your grimoire, but... A warm -up. Me? I'll make you regret screwing around with me. The wheel of fate is turning. Revo, one, action! Inferno, you fucking Inferno, you shatter! Uh, no problem. Huh? <laughs> a good fat chunk of data, so I'm gonna give you a tip. Don't try and fight Teremi. Say what? Just shut up and listen. Hey, what about my Azure Grim- Right, got it. What? Noel Vermillion? Did you say Noel? Sorry, but it looks like I gotta- Hey, hey! Come on, throw me a bone here! Damn it, what the hell was she talking about? What's with her saying I can't take on Terra? And she was saying something about Noel. Damn, maybe I should look for her. But how? I don't know where the true successor of the Azure, huh? You know, Ragna. You've been training with me for quite a while now. I guess. I've had to plow through a bunch of useless crap, but I have to thank you nonetheless. That's so. Master, it's time for me to go. All right, then.
my goodness. Sentimentality from you? Or perhaps you feel regret? Rachel. Yes? You know what happened to Jin and Saya, right? Yes. I Is what Master said true? I can intervene no more than he can. I know. And you wish to fight even so? Yeah. It's something I have to do. Oh, it will not be pleasant. After that brief glimpse of hell, how could what I've decided to do possibly be any worse? The path you've chosen will have more than its fair share of misery. I figured as much. You're back. Yeah. I'm sorry to make you wait. Huh. Didn't think you were here too, Rachel. It is always a pleasure to see you, Jubei. Ragna, I'm giving you this. Huh? A jacket? And a sword? I had the sister look after him for a while. Think you got the patience to listen to a long story from an old man? You have a long story to tell? <laughs> Holy shit, like that's never happened before. Huh. Long time ago, back when the Black Beast was running around causing trouble, something happened that a lot of people don't remember. For about a year, the son of a bitch didn't do nothing just sat there that year gave us the six heroes enough time to find and figure out Oz maggot indeed and then well the thing is that year wasn't just a lucky break and who's that he called himself blood i told you about the black beast right monster would eat any sort of life didn't matter all the thing did was kill and eat but he never gave up never stopped fighting Nobody knew. It cost him his life, but... I could do nothing but watch. I ain't never met no one more deserving of being called a hero. This so... I know they both feel... Yes, they are. If you can... Yeah. Whatever yeah. happens... I know. You won't... <laughs> Going to cry? I better take off as well. Later. Farewell. Rovna, the Blood Edge. How ironic that the only one left standing. Rachel, I know you're watching. Hey, Rachel. Rachel! Would you be so kind as to cease your yelling? My ears are quite... pissed about God. Ugh! you spit how common how disgusting well i mean i just no one around my god what sort of the hell is that supposed to mean don't speak to me i fear i may contract whatever grotesque malady has invaded your body good i have no freaking clue what you're talking about. ragna please no, oh, okay, okay, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Not the most convincing. Okay, okay. God. Now, what is it that you require? You have summoned me here, which is no... All right, how's this for important bunny leech? I was eating when a Muraku... Kokonoe. What was that? You knew? A warning, Ravna. That petulant child does not always employ methods which are... You, of all people, have the stones to call someone irrational and obsessed? <laughs> Whatever. Unfortunately, Ravna, I cannot... Again with the cryptic state, what is she after? Why, I should imagine that particular... You told me before that my Azure grew... Indeed, I did. So then? I told you the truth. Did you think otherwise? So I'm a fake. But then why did you waste your time saving me? Whether you are an imitation or the genuine article is hard. So once again... Your eyes. My eyes? What about them? 
You wanted to live, so I obliged you. I don't remember any of that. Whatever the case. No, Ravna. Destroyer. Did I not say so? Yes. You are... Order. Hmm. This world has gone mad. The force which maintains the stability is order. But you, you are a destroyer. <sighs> what does the human body do when it falls ill? Huh? Do you really think I'm that stupid? Your immune system reacts to and fights off any bacteria that's in your body. Yes, your body will create antibodies. This mad world does the same. In this case, that antibody is Jin Kisaragi. What the? Noel is one of the few with the power to calm the forces of order. But then what the hell is that dumbass terror me after? Oh, I believe I've told you enough for one day, Ravna. Now that I've explained the situation... What? Where the hell did that come from? You cannot defeat Teremi. He is... It is difficult to explain. I will simply say it would be impossible for you to win, and leave it at that. Listen, Rabbit, just cut the crap. You're telling me to just stay out of it and watch? I never want to go through that again. Ravna, you... Get the hell out of my way, Rachel. I could give a rat's ass if I'm fake or not. As I just said, I never want to go through that bullshit again. Very well, Ravna. Clearly, your pig-headedness will book no opposition. At least do me the favor of showing me your determination. Show me how determined you are to destroy the order that grips this world. The wheel of fate is turning. We go. One. Action. I see. You still want to say something? Oh, no. Nothing. Go and finish your story. What the hell's going on? You're being awfully nice. Do you think so? I see no difference in my... I'm sorry. Did you say something? You, gentle and forthcoming? That is... Is that so? Then I shall give you the abuse and direction you so clearly desire. Yeah, thanks for nothing. Must I do everything for you? I see. I beg your pardon? Nothing. Just that you look ripped. I simply felt like putting my... Huh? Did you just say... I said nothing. I know it is difficult for you. I kind of guessed that already. I confess I do not... All right, just a little more. <laughs> I was waiting for you to drop it. Oh, God, not you again, Jim. I don't have the time to screw around with you right now. I'm afraid you cannot. What do you mean, I can't? Quit. Oh, dear brother. You can't eat the black beast. That's what the bastard is after. But it doesn't seem to be coming from you. From me? What the hell? What the hell are you going on about? It's what? I finally understand, brother. You are also a puppet. More or less. Both Master and that dragon told me to kiss him. But I do. I am a slave to that godforsaken Noxton toys. I do. I up. Screw that Noxic Taurus Yuki Anasa! I don't know how much of a crunch you have against the Black Taurus. Who else would I be talking about? You're so funny. What are you talking about? It is I who has the comfort of your son. It's none of your concern, brother. Noel is the enemy. What? Murakumi, the editor of the law, doesn't react to No, brother. 
There's no way you can defeat Terramoon. The Wheel of Fate is turning. Revo, one, action! Pump the faster! Hail! Come on! Damn, you're already! Damn, you're already! Move no. it! No fight! No fight! No fight! Damn, you're already! Relax! Move it! Really give a damn, but it's my fight. As for you, we'll settle. <sighs> what were you thinking, challenging me with wounds like that? Idiot. Can't go all out on you in this condition. Brother. You were such a crybaby when you were a kid. But you've grown up. Jay, you're right. Even if I knew for certain, I still couldn't blindly accept my fate. But if the time comes, so should the time come. What the hell are you going? Okay. What's that? God damn it! Stop your face! Damn you! Oh, let you twist it. Get away! I'm gonna beat you. Restriction number. Blaze blue. Act. <laughs> <laughs> so. Restriction number. This is a good is a fat good chunk, fat of, chunk data. of data. So I You cannot, you cannot defeat, defeat Terramir. Code S.O. No, brother. No, brother. There's, no, There's way no way you can, way defeat, you can Terramir. defeat Terramir. Blaze Blue, activate! It can't be. How can you? How can you? How? Oh, what the? Rob, no, Rob, no, Rob, no. Okay. What? The wheel of fate is turning. Revo, one, action! That's you! you. Move it! What? what? That's you! you. That's you! Got you! Shit! No! That's you! That's you! That's you! Hunter! That's you! Damn it! Die, 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 die! die. What? Get back! Ready? Get what? 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 Get back! Get back! Get Die! 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 Get
lot better than I thought you would, Rags, old boy. Let it never be said, I'm not a gracious... Gracious... until I tell you, are you? I could just kill you, so... Basically, the original... I had the basic bits together, but to refine... So, your Blaze Blue is pretty much a prototype. The Merc... Oh, good job! Yes, the, this time, though. This time, things are... Now, Murakumo, it's time to awaken! This world is nothing but lies, 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 lies! But don't worry, I'll show you, I'll show you the truth, the truth called despair! In the name of Susanoo, I command you, awaken Murakumo! No, not Murakumo! Kusanagi, the sword, the God Slayer. Your blade will cut away the lies that cover this world. <laughs> the answer is mine. Try and stop me now, Master Unit. Amaterasu. All right, Rags, it's time I moseyed on. But I'll leave you with one... You remember what life means? You and the 13th century. <laughs> oh, ho You do get it! That's right, pal. You want to kill me? Then you now that you know what to say. Thank <laughs> you. 